One thing I really like about DC is that they have a lot of really great animated content. What is going on Draw2 crew? Ramney here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys and today we are going to draw Robin as he appears in Teen Titans Go. Here we go. So just to keep you guys up to speed, if you guys are not aware, uh, the, the next couple of days or weeks, I'm only doing characters that are relatively simple in design. I'm kind of trying to avoid the overly complicated designs of, you know, live action movies, that kind of thing, uh, mainly because things have been kind of busy on like in life for me in general. So yeah, so those are the kinds of tutorials that I'm looking for. Anyway, before we begin, however, be sure to read the description of this video. Down there, you'll find a list of my drawing tools, some tips to succeed in your drawing as you're following this tutorial, how to make tutorial suggestions if you have any, and best of all, a link to a free coloring page that is based on this tutorial. And having said all of that, grab your drawing tools, let's draw Robin from Teen Titans Go! All right, you guys, let's get started with our Robin tutorial. I've got my paper in portrait mode for this. Uh, we're going to be drawing full body, but he is a pretty simple drawing, so it shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Now, let's go ahead and get started. I'm, of course, going to draw a circle, as I always like to do with my tutorials. And, you know, if you're still on this channel and you still haven't figured out how to draw a circle, I suggest you guys take some time to practice. Okay, so there is a circle right there. It doesn't have to be perfect and don't make it too dark either. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to split that in half, just like that, all right? And then this is going to be the chin now. So I'm going to just make these lines angled, and then I'm going to sort of make a square within that angled, those angled lines, okay? So just like so. So you guys see that I'm forming this shape, this head shape within that circle. Okay, there you go. Let's uh, actually, before we continue on with the head, let's go ahead and finish the rest of the drawing first. Got two lines going like this for the neck, and I'm gonna cut it off with a line going across like this. Okay, just like that. Now I'm going to draw a short little line, and then here's the chest that gets narrower as you go down. Okay, and then same thing here. Actually, I'll start right here. It gets narrow, and then goes like this. Okay, close that off, and then you have this shape right here. Now I'm going to kind of figure out where the hands are going to go and the arms. First, I'm going to draw the shoulders. There's the green sleeve that he wears. Okay, pretty much a rectangle. Okay, this one now goes like this. And like that. Okay, this line goes like this. And then close it off like so. So it looks like a bell um, that way. Now let me zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. There you go. So we're going to continue this going down. That's going to be for the butt, of course. And then he's going to be wearing a belt. Here's the belt. I'm going to draw a line going across right there. For the belt. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to kind of split this into the legs. So this goes like this and this goes down like that. Crotch is going to be right around here and from the crotch I'm going to draw a line going this way and down as well. Okay, not too long. Uh, once we, well, let's not figure this out yet, the knees, let's figure out where the hands are going to go first, okay? So just actually, before we even draw the arms, I'm going to draw the big glove, and the glove is going to go about this far from the tip, goes down across, and then sort of forms a triangle like this. Before you close it off, diagonal line, like that, okay? And then this goes across like this, and then down. Okay, back over here, this goes this way, and then we make a thumb, essentially, by creating something like that. Okay, from here, goes like that. This goes across like this. It's going to be the pointer finger, so you have this little gap right here. It's going to do that for now. 
does feel like we're going a little too fast. But, uh, you know, pause the video if you guys need to figure out certain things, how to slow it down. Um, pause the video until you guys can catch up. Okay, so now I drew the arm on that side. Okay, on this side, I'm going to draw the arm about this far. I'm going to draw a curve like this, and then triangle going closing. Thumb like that. Okay, like a an L shape. Okay, this goes up and this goes across. Okay, this sort of makes this rectangle like this. I'm gonna close that off like that. And then we're just going to figure that out later on, not to worry about it now. And then you wanna make sure that the arms are roughly the same size and goes like that. Okay, so we figured that out. We figured out the hands. Let's bring this down. This one goes like this, okay? And then this one goes further out, so it sort of becomes like this bell bottoms. Okay, this one is much shorter than this one is. This one kind of goes all the way down. That goes like this. And then round like that. Okay, we do the same thing over here. Bring this to about this far. Just like that. Okay, so about this far from the left foot. Okay, this goes across, up, into the leg, and then here's the knee right here. Okay, there you go. Now, I'm just gonna make this a little bit tighter here, make, him, make his waist a little skinnier. Okay, and then finally the cape. Start here. Okay, go in between the knee and the thumb this far out right there's good doesn't really matter where okay from here now it goes this way like that okay about the same kind of same level as here so right around there and you want to create this nice curve just like that going across so there we have Robin's cape okay Bring that a little lower so that we can focus on the face. I'm going to close it off right around there. That's going to be the hairline. Ears are going to be right around here. I'm just going to draw them like this for now. Actually, I'm going to make them angled. Okay, so instead of rounded, they look like that. Okay, this got the hair going up here and here. And then this sort of comes to a point up at the top somewhere around the center here and that goes like this okay so there we go there's our outline for robin and so as soon as we f do the commercial i got to do a commercial right now let's zoom in and start working on the details for our robin so here we go here's the commercial i'll see you shortly all right, you guys, so I've zoomed in on our Robin tutorial. I'm just going to clean it up slightly over here. Just trying to get all those lines. And there we go. I don't have my normal cloth that I use to wipe all my uh, erasing eraser um, garbage. All this stuff right here. I don't have it right now. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Okay, so first things first is he's got like these widow's peaks it looks like a funny looking widow's peak right here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create like these triangular edges to his hairline okay just like that and i'm going to actually make his head a little bit rounder so it goes inwards more so it goes like that more so curve it in okay right here we make like a w shape part of the hairline there and there now right around here is where we're going to draw the center okay so i'm going to draw these lines that go from that center line which is where the center of his domino mask is going to be i'm going to draw lines that go towards the tips the edges there like that okay i'm going to make that line thicker i'm going to make that line thicker as well okay there's his nose. And then above his nose, 
goes like that. And like that. Okay, so this thickness right here, you wanna make sure you do that all the way across there. And I'm sort of doing it lightly just to make sure that I don't make any mistakes. Now, really doesn't matter what the size of this is or the shape of it because it's, it is very expressive. But there you go, there's the rough size. Two lines here for the brow. And then a D shape for the mouth, teeth, tongue. And shade in the space in between, like so. Okay, now right around here, I'm gonna draw a V shape. That's just to do his hair a little bit more, uh, more spikes. So just like so, and right here as well. Okay, and then one more here. There. There you go. So I will probably take my Sharpie, my permanent marker, and I'll color that in a little bit later on. And when I do ink, do my inking, I'll probably use um, thicker uh, thicker nib so that it'll be thicker like the cartoon so there's the face you guys pretty much done there it's not too hard now let's do the torso and I'm going to start by actually drawing the center line the center line goes like this on his chest and right around here right where the chest is I'm going to make this diamond shape this is for the cape and I get shaded in so it's black of a square coming out of it and then a rectangle just below it like that okay right here is a fairly not quite circular but i don't know more like a rounded square it looks like that and we're going to draw the letter r inside line shade that part triangle shade that part okay curve for the top of the r and then straight line shade that part and then the circle inside the R. Okay, so that's good. We're pretty much done with that. Now let's go over here and work on these fingers. And they're fairly easy. Let's take the index finger, goes like this and then down to there. Erase that line on the wrist there. Okay, and then all we really need to do is split this into two fingers. Bring them slightly down. And that's it for that. And then on this side, are we in frame here? Let me bring that in center. Okay, so we've got one finger that goes like this. Okay, so there's the index finger there. Middle finger just does the same thing here, like that. Ring finger and the pinky are actually, they will kind of blend in together like that. And I'm just gonna split it in half right here. Okay, pretty much done with that hand. Let's work on the belt. Okay, oval, and then another oval inside. That's the center. Bigger rectangles here and here. So you got these two sides are bigger. And then diagonal line going right through. And same thing here, diagonal line going like that. Okay. And then lastly, the boots. There and there. Okay, let's work on the shoe or the bottom part of the foot. Okay, gotta make that little, it looks like a metallic, metallic uh, steel toe boot. Okay, so one segment, second, and then the third segment sort of goes up and over like that. So that's kind of what it looks like. And then this gets shaded in. And then same thing over here, this goes across. Actually, let me bring that slightly down and then down. Okay, so there's the first part.
second part right there. And then the third part, just like this, goes to that tip and goes down. And then this, of course, gets shaded in. And that's it, you guys. Zooming out. There is our Robin from Teen Titans Go. Not too hard. Exactly the kind of tutorial that I've been um, thinking of doing the past couple of days since things have been pretty busy. But there you go. There is Robin. I hope you guys enjoyed this quite easy tutorial. I will catch you in the next one. Take care. And that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I hope you guys are very proud of your drawings. If you are, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community and to Instagram and post your artwork there and tag me so that I can see it as well. If you guys are ever curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do uh, my tutorials, I have a link to those in the description below. So be sure to check that out. If you feel like being extra generous, I have links in the description on different ways that you can help support this channel. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that uh, I can make content like this for free for you guys, so I appreciate your consideration. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you, number one, liked this video, commented down below, and most especially if you shared this with your friends in your social media. And of course, speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google+, and of course on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of the uh, tutorial that's here on this uh, video. Again, you guys, all of the links to all of those are in the description, so be sure to read it. Finally, thank you once again for watching. I will see you guys next time, and don't forget, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Take care.